There are times when you're using a custom ROM based on latest Android and it does not support over the air update or OTA update and a newer version is available for your device which you want to install but the main problem is how. Custom ROM developers like Pure Nexus, Resurrection Remix and some other do not provide OTA updates like Cyanogen Mod which basically means if any newer version of Android or any minor update is available then you have to install it manually which most of the users don't know how to do and that's why I'm making this video. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys a simple and easy method through which you can update or upgrade any custom ROM manually without losing your app or data and this works on almost any Android device. So hey guys, this is Samir and without wasting much time, let's start. Now first thing first, I am assuming that if you are using a custom ROM then you should have a pre-installed TWRP recovery which is essential for this method. And if you don't have TWRP recovery then install it. There are lots of videos out there on YouTube regarding this. For this specific video I am using OnePlus 2 which is running on the latest version of Resurrection Remix ROM and unfortunately it does not support OTA update. But it notifies me whenever a new update is available for my device. In order to manually update or upgrade your device, first you have to download the latest build of that ROM which you can get from the official website or from the XDA forums. In my case, I get the update ROM zip file from the XDA forum so you just have to download the file and put it in the internal memory of your device. Now the next step is to boot your device into TWRP recovery which can be done by using different key combination of power and volume button for different Android devices. After booting into TWRP recovery, click on install and navigate the update ROM zip file and select it. Now flash the zip file by swiping this blue button to right. Now here comes the most tricky part. Once the ROM is installed, don't reboot the device otherwise your device will be stuck on a boot loop. Just click on wipe cache slash Delvik and then reboot your device. That's it. Now the boot will take around 5 to 10 minutes depending on your device. So now as you can see your device is now successfully booted. Now let's quickly go to the setting to check the build date which will confirm that your device is updated and running on the latest version. So guys that's it for this video. If you like this video and find it useful then do subscribe to my channel for more future updates and I will see you guys in the next one.